How you doing, folks? Uh, this is the question of the day. Is this a pet? I ask that because uh, I work in food service, and uh, this little fella spent the whole weekend outside of my work. And uh, I've never seen a mouse like this out in the wild. So I don't know if this is a wild mouse or not. Uh, everybody at work seems to think it's somebody's pet mouse that just got abandoned outside. We're not really sure. Seems pretty young. Uh, so somebody out there knows a lot about rodents and mice. Because uh, I'm not too familiar with mice. Knows what this guy is? Would you please uh, give me a reply or send me an email on YouTube and uh, let me know uh, what exactly I got? Because uh, if he's a wild mouse, I'll uh, just let him go back outside. But uh, you know, if he's somebody's pet, I figured he spent all weekend at work and still survived. So you know, he's pretty lucky in that respect. So I'd give him a little home. So I bought him a cage and all the fixings and. Uh, Seems pretty content. Uh, loves the wheel. Runs like a maniac. And uh, last yesterday was the first day he had the wheel. And uh, that little sucker, I know for a fact, ran probably three hours straight. And uh, I mean, don't I, I'm not talking just a normal jog. I mean, that little sucker just blasted that wheel constantly for three hours. And he stopped every once in a while, come out, got something to eat. Then went right back to the wheel, and uh, he's kind of having something to eat right now. But uh, man, when he uh, he hits that wheel, he hits her hard. Uh, I have held a few mice in my life, but uh, this one seems pretty skittish. So I don't know if it's a pet mouse that got out that really I didn't deal with humans and wasn't used to captivity, or you know, it was just a pet that was just recently let go. He. Uh, I've seen him drink water off the floor right where he's at just because the water bottle's right above his head and I did see him lick the end of the water bottle but I wasn't sure if he drank water out of it so I'm not really sure if he's familiar with it yet or not uh, he has taken a lot of food and hit it everywhere that's probably pretty typical of a rodent uh, he seemed to nest in the Kleenex box pretty good uh, I got him a little bit of a better nest same with Cage, I think, but uh, haven't really seen him use it much. So it was supposed to hang, and I just laid it flat because uh, he didn't seem to be going in it while it hung. But uh, there's the wheel, anyways. And it's not bad, it seems pretty quiet. I was warned about wire wheels with mice, they'll break their tail. But uh, that one seems to be pretty good, but he does get it going up pretty fast, and then he'll fall off. Well, not fall off, but fall back. You guys know what I mean. But uh, he's a cute little fella, and uh, I'll give him home, and he's definitely a male. And, uh, I say that because he's got quite the nut sack hanging off the back. You'd think you'd weigh him down when he runs, but not at all. So... Uh, I apologize to anybody out there with high def. Uh, I'm recording this in 640 just because, uh, you know, I can crank the camera up as fast, high as I can. You know, this camera really sucks, by the way. It's the same one I used for metal detecting. Uh, oh, I can't say it really sucks for what it's used for. It's all right. I mean, nobody wants to lose a $1,500 camera out in the field somewhere. But, uh, yeah, anyways, if uh, somebody knows what kind of mouse this is or has information, let me know, please. It's a tan-colored mouse, pink eyes. Uh, I've looked on the internet, and uh, the only thing I could find is that it was under a fancy mouse and uh, called a fawn variety. And I guess that has to do with his tan color and the pink eyes. But, uh, you know, any wild mouse I've seen around here was, you know, gray. You know, you just don't see pet store mice around here very often, unless it's somebody's pet, and that's why we think it was a pet. 
and uh, he has been handled by other humans at work and uh, you know he's like any other mouse put them on their hand your hand and they'll look for a way to get away uh, so I'm not really sure about the wheel like uh, he because he ran for three hours last night once he got that wheel he never stopped for three hours salt so you know is he excited about the wheel you know because he's been on one before and do mice like to run like that or was he just trying to get away but uh, you know I he runs when I'm not even in the room so that would tend to make me think he has a lot of energy and needs to burn it off since he's uh, cleaning himself off pretty good I was uh, kind of surprised by how much a mouse would uh, bath like a, like a cat, or a cat would. But they seem to clean themselves off a lot. I don't know if I can get that any clearer. And like I said, the zoom's not the greatest on this camera. I don't know how well people can see him. But uh, if you know what kind of mouse this is, would you please let me know or give me an idea of what I'm looking at? Because uh, only for my own curiosity, you know. Uh, and uh, up where I work, this poor little guy, he uh, wouldn't have had really long to live.